Hello, stakers and makers. In this tutorial series, we will be discussing the fundamentals of blockchain technology, staking your cryptocurrencies, and more. Well-known cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin and most others, are supported by a technology known as blockchain. A blockchain is an open distributed ledger of transactions shared between nodes of a computer network. Transactions are recorded and validated in groups known as blocks. When a block is at capacity, it gets linked to previously validated blocks, forming a chain of data. To validate each transaction, a consensus mechanism is applied. The most widely used consensus mechanisms are proof of work and proof of stake. Bitcoin uses the proof of work consensus mechanism. Under proof of work, nodes use their processing power to solve cryptographic riddles, which are used to sign and validate a block. This process is called mining. By design, this uses a lot of electricity to deter bad operators from tampering with the distributed ledger for their own gain. Consensus is reached when over 50% of nodes agree on what the distributed ledger should contain. Nodes are essential to keep the network running and the operators of the nodes are incentivized by getting rewarded in crypto tokens for their work. Unfortunately, under proof of work, every node has to expend power on solving the cryptographic riddles. But in the end, only one will receive the block reward. This results in a tremendous amount of lost power. Reducing the amount of power necessary to validate transactions can be done by another popular consensus mechanism called proof of stake. Proof of stake works on the principle of collateral where node operators lock down some amount of the chain's native token in order to participate in validating transactions. The chance of being chosen as the validator can increase with the amount staked, as well as factors such as total staking time and the node's uptime. Under proof of stake, only the chosen validators have to expend the power on solving the cryptographic riddles. If they succeed, other validators can double check their work to make sure everything is in order. If any faults are found, such as the validator fails to solve the block, or if a validator attempts to sign multiple blocks, a slashing event occurs. Getting slashed means the validator will lose some or all of their stake, and another validator will be chosen instead. Recently, Ethereum made their successful switch to the proof of stake mechanism. Estimates show a decrease in energy usage by 99.95%. The merge resulted in a decrease of global energy consumption by 0.2%. Another advantage of proof of stake is its accessibility. While under proof of work, miners need lots and lots of hardware, but under proof of stake, anyone with a home computer and some tokens can participate. As a staker, there are two roles you can take, as a validator or as a delegator. As a validator, you run your own node with your own hardware. You reap the benefits of complete control, such as getting the full block reward, but you also have the responsibility of maintaining your node. As a delegator, you contribute your tokens to a validator you trust, and they run the node on your behalf. This increases your selected validator's overall stake, giving them and you a higher chance of getting the block reward. This reward will be shared between you and the other delegators. Whichever path you choose, be sure to join us in our next video where we go in depth on how you can stake.